How are the children, Robbie? Would you like to see them, ma'am? There's Brian and there's Bridget. Oh, they're beautiful. Ah, the famous Genovian pear and cheese dessert. What else? Uh, hi. You look like you could use a shot. No, I'm waiting on Will. Oh, sorry. It's a no parking zone. If you want to sit here, you got to order a drink. Okay, give me a glass of water. Okay. You just ordered water? Yeah. You know what to do. Hey, Mike, I'm so sorry. She's new. I'm okay. Let's step outside. No, no, I don't play this not paranoid. I've been after him a couple weeks now. Matter of fact, since I began following him, I came up with a theory of my own. You ever notice how many dead animals are on the road these days? Well, think about this. All those raccoons and rabbits and stuff. They got these little bedding pools going. Who could get across the road without getting hit? Kind of like chicken, but with rodents. A little deep for you? Mow it over. Oh, looky here. Thank you, Dory. Wait, what was this? You're late. I'm docking you. Wait a minute, okay? I'm not here just because we're fucking around you're here. You're cocky. Man. I don't like cocky anymore. I don't need cocky, Peppy. Look, I was breaking in a new kid, okay? Now, that's good news for both of us. I got a dozen other guys I can call. Don't be late no more. You get testy. Remember that. That's oh, right here. It might be a little on the messy side. I'm right. sure it's fine, Tom. More company, Tom? I won't tell the inquirer about you and her, Tom. Thanks, Otis. I won't tell unsolved mysteries about you. I didn't do it, sir. No, no, I no, I didn't say that. I want you to call maintenance and have them deal with this. You must delegate authority. Yes, sir. Let's Hi, go. Barney. Ms. Vivian. Thank you. No. Keep him company. I'll go wait for the ambulance. Oh. Hey, chum. Welcome to the world. What happened? Nothing much. I just got turned down by some woman. No, you're going to be fine. Meet Fred and Barry Paulson. Dad beats. They're broke. You boys are three months behind. Just means you'll have to get a job, Fred. You mean you want me to go out and do something demeaning and have someone tell me what to do and how to do it? It's absolutely un-American. They're desperate. Bus slows down, you bounce off the bus, instant whiplash. You're just gonna throw me in front of the bus. Praise the Lord! Fifty-one million dollars! And they found God. That's it! We start our own religion. There's big money in it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Look at that guy. Fred, Look at that you're guy. You're standing up. The pain stopped the right brother. Oh, no. The pain stopped the elephant man. Mm. The Paulson brothers together again. You think I can write one of these? Sure. You worked in a bookstore. This donut metaphor is perfect. See the donut, not the hole. Once the checks start rolling in, true in life. Presto. Worked. It worked. Yes. I should lend you boys this pamphlet I got. Where did you get that from? Positive attitude. Your pamphlet really changed my life. I don't see holes anymore. I, I see donuts. Well, don't blame me, pal. I would have paid you a million dollars if I had it. Yeah. I want you to read this. It's really helped me. I wrote this. This is not a good time to make a joke. Maybe you guys don't know what you have here. Messiahs are always afraid to recognize themselves. This is just the next logical step. It's the next logical step towards prison. Let's all go home and count our blessings. We're hit. They need me. They believe in me. They think I'm a god. Before Fred? I could give a rat's ass about ordinary people. I never, ever told the truth. I couldn't have an orgasm. I was put here for a reason. I'd like to thank Fred for these. You're just a big phony. I'd like to introduce you to my personal assistant. You're starting to believe your own publicity. I'd love to chat, but I have a satellite broadcast. 